Hi, I'm Duncan from Passionate About Fish and in this video we're going to show you how to fillet a cod. This is actually what we call a H&G cod, so head off and gutted. It's actually a Norwegian fish. It's a slightly easier to fillet the cod without its head on, but I'm also going to remove its collar, which is also known as the nape. And we do that by just cutting underneath the bone, leaving as much flesh as possible actually on the fillets of the fish. And there is the collar removed. We're then going to show you how to fillet the cod. We're not trying to speed fillet the cod, we're going for good fishmonger's yield. So rather than start along the backside first, I'm going to release the fillet below the lateral line first. Insert the knife at the tail end of the cod, and once it's on the bone, then we just draw the knife towards ourselves, cutting from tail to head, only cutting to the lateral line. I'll lift the fillet open so you can see it's run tight along the bone. Then I'm going to turn the cod round so the tail is toward me and the head away. I'm going to actually lift the fish slightly with my left hand and insert the knife on top of the dorsal fin. It slides straight in on top of the spine and I draw the knife down the whole length of the fish, cutting in as deep as the lateral line. Then I'm going to put my knife back in the same cut and I'm going to draw my knife towards the head end of the fish following the bone as tight as I can. You can see the bone, I'm just making sure we've gone right down onto the rib cage. Then you have to tilt the fillet away from the fish and do a few gentle cuts with the tip of the knife just going up to the very edge of the rib cage. The fillet will then lift over and you just use your knife to guide it straight down the rib cage and then you just fillet the tail of the cod and the first fillet will lift straight off the bone. Beautiful yield, nice presentation. We're then going to turn the cod over and fillet the second side actually with the tail away from us. Tilt the cod slightly round so that you stretch the skin. Start at the tail end, draw the knife in through the skin. Once the knife starts to run along the bone, apply the pressure to the tip of the blade to get that nice pull along the whole length of the spine as you can see. Then just make sure that you've gone down onto the rib cage and you're tight against the bone. We then lift the fillet and we use the tip of the blade just to release the cod off the actual rib cage and then again lift the fillet and guide your knife down the rib cage onto the spine, work to the tip of the tail and lift off the second fillet. Two nice fillets, excellent yield. We then have to trim the fillets up to make them nice and presentable. We've not finished working on them quite yet. We're going to take the first fillet We've left a bit of the fin along the bottom edge. We just use our knife to drop underneath the fin and then we're actually going to cut the fins off to give a nice presentation of fillet. The black and silver skin which lies on top of the rib cage, I'm just going to use the blade and my knife just to shave as little flesh off as possible but to just trim the fillet up. We also trim the front edge where it was cut as a H&G fish and we'll take that little bit of blood off the very front of the fillet. And that's the first fillet ready for skinning. I'll show you just again how to prepare the second fillet just quickly. We're going to just use the blade of the knife just to shave off that black and silver skin, give it a nice presentation, trim the front to refresh the cut, and move a little bit of blood that sits on the fillet. Two nice presentable fillets. We're now going to show you how to skin the fillets. Take a fillet, we're going to lie it along the very edge of the work surface. We're going to take the tip of the skin, pull it with our free hand so we stretch the skin, and then we just guide the knife down the skin. Once it starts slipping, we just pull the skin and push the knife, and the skin will come off the fillet, and you get a beautiful silver skin presentation. I'm also now going to show you how to remove the bones, which we call V-boning. The bones run along the lateral line. Find the last bone, insert the tip of your blade into the fillet, slightly angle your knife and then draw your knife along the line of bones. Then we insert the knife again on the other side of the line of bones, removing as little flesh as possible. We lift the V 
nick it out and that is now totally skinless v-boned fillet.